So we just finished cotton top three chainsaw class. I want to show you the remnant, what's remaining of the wood. So we had classroom instruction in the morning, then we come out here this afternoon and cut for uh, probably about four hours. And we actually cut some before lunch. There's one of the saws, 572 XP. You can look at the sawdust on the ground. We have cut a bunch. Popular wood, and that's pretty. But look at all that. All the chips. All the cookies, they call them. <laughs> that's a lot of dust. up an oak. Some of the stuff they did, cut through the, the tree like practicing boar sawing, staying within a certain distance, certain lines. There's the chairs we made. So it's been fun, it's been a day. <laughs> a lot of sawdust. some of these saws. So this is the biggest one, right? 394. 394 is the biggest. Yep. That's T540. And then the 550 XP Mark II. That's probably one of my favorite. Now that was impressive here. Here you walk quarter saw. You make 18, 18 volt quarter saw. And then the 572 XP. Right there. Auto tune. Yep. I think we bought that saw right there, uh, either 1991 or 1992. Wow. Right there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, something like that. It's been at it for a while, man. That's a what size bar? That's a 30. There's 30. Saw right there, it's a 30. Yep. 30. It's a 24 on it. This is a 20. 16 right there. That's what's, that's all. I know Tim's tired. I'm going to let him go, but I wanted to ask him because I never have heard just how his family got into logging. So if he could tell us. <laughs> well, it was kind of started as kind of sideline, kind of long time kind of thing. My dad worked in a, worked at a manufacturing plant here in Columbus for 33 years and back uh, in the late 70s there. He started kind of uh, dibbling and cutting some trees down, logging and stuff like that, kind of on a small scale. And uh, it just kind of grew from from that. And then, luckily, when I graduated school, and I graduated in 1990, um, I came on and went straight on to work there, in which I had been working there. And I've been in the woods since I was. My earliest memories are 11, 12 years old, you know, working in the woods and uh, start out. Everything's manual, uh, cable skitters, uh, hand felling trees, cutting them down with uh, chainsaws, stuff like that. And then uh, we advanced up in 1988. Uh, we, we, that was when Dad got his leg broke and we bought our first uh, mechanized tree cutter, which was a bell tree cutter three wheel machine basically turned around backwards from a yeah. normal three wheeler and uh it had a uh, bar saw head on it directional filling head and i ran that thing uh from actually went through three of those machines from 1988 to 1997 and then we went to a saw head 
style cutter was the first one of them and that was the tooth that I gave you to take home that's what was on that machine to cut in so and then when, when I graduated and then my middle brother graduated and then my baby brother graduated they all came to work in the woods and then it got to where it is now we grew uh, to, uh, to where we're at now and uh, and you know when we formed it uh, dad incorporated it back in either 93 or 94 and called it tdk logging and the t the t stands for the three brothers the t is my name and then the d, d is Derek, and the k is kept and so that's where the tdk came from and uh, all that so so uh, a lot of people see the videos and they just see the machines but they don't realize what it took to get to where we're at you know today Pretty interesting. A lot of hard work, Smith. Yeah. Well, if anybody's interested, Tim has a future class, and I'm sure he probably will. <laughs> Come on, it was mighty fun. I showed you <laughs> yeah. what all we've done. <laughs> we cut up some stuff here today, buddy. We we and we got a we got a pile of sawdust that's over ankle deep right there on the ground, and we cut man, we cut cookies, we board, we cut so <laughs> much stuff up. And uh, there's no telling how much same saw gas we burned today. So it's been a good, been a good time. Yeah, it's been enjoyable. Yeah, everybody appreciate it. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, well I'm glad, glad you came and all that. So uh, yeah, good time, man. Good time. So, thank you a lot. I appreciate it. Oh yeah, oh yeah, man. Oh yeah, good deal. Good deal.